Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael and I've been taking you guys on a journey with me of paying off over $140,000 worth of student loan debt. Now I've been trying to share with you guys each and every week my Transfer Tuesday money moves. This is basically just me explaining where my money is going after I receive it as a paycheck and there is a fly buzzing around my head. Basically a Transfer Tuesday is me explaining where my money is going after I receive it as a paycheck, where I'm transferring that money to so that I can become debt free and also financially independent. I would like to bring you guys just quickly up to speed with some other news going on. In my last video, I mentioned how I received some final notice paper regarding uh, canceling student loan debt. Um, however, this, as many of you pointed out in the comments, thank you for doing so. This was just a scam. It's garbage. Um, don't pay attention to it. Apparently, there was other things like this going around, and I hope no one fell for it. I'm sure there's probably some people that did. Uh, but basically, they're just trying to get your money so that they can get more of your money. They're trying to get your information so they can get your money. The second thing I wanted to mention before I provide you guys with the numbers of what my Transfer Tuesday was today, and that is talking about the amount of interest I've been gaining on my Ally Savings Bank account. Uh, currently, Ally Savings Bank, the interest on it is 4%, which is a decent amount of interest if you ask me. Um, at this current time, I just brought it up on my phone. I currently have in the federal loan payments sinking fund bucket account, $43,000 uh, in that. Actually, it's $43,002.63 in that sinking fund. Um, but total in the entire account, I have a total racked up amount of $44,134.27 because that also includes my other sinking funds that I have invested into this account, or I shouldn't say invested, that I use this account with. So then comes the question of how much interest do I earn each month with this bank account, because it is a high interest savings fund. And I think in the first video of July that I posted, I think I said anywhere from around, I thought this month was gonna be around $136 of interest and I was pretty close. I was super close, $133.96 of interest that I gained on July 3rd. So each month that number keeps going up. Back in June, it was 121. Back in May, it was 108. So you guys can see the pattern, it goes up a little bit each and every month as I continue to put more money into this account, which that only makes sense that that's going to happen. So just having this Ally Savings Bank, this high interest savings account, and just continuing to throw money and feed that account while I still can and gain interest on the side, I think has been a great strategy for me. Um, I don't know who came up with the strategy first. I've seen many other YouTubers and other people who are in a similar situation that I am do it. So I think it's been really helpful. Um, so thank you, YouTube, and all the other creators out there for giving me that idea. I think I might have misspoke in my last Transfer Tuesday video. And that is, I, I mentioned at the beginning of each of my videos that I'm on a journey to paying off over $140,000 worth of student loan debt. And I am. However, I have paid off quite a significant amount of that already. I currently only have an outstand only. <laughs> I currently have an outstanding debt amount of $71,000, and that's because I've already paid off all my private student loan accounts. So the only thing left is the government student loans. So when I say I have a saved up amount of $43,000 in my government student loan savings account, that means that you take $71,000 and subtract the $43,000 from that, and that gives you the outstanding amount of debt I have left over. So in the last video, people were commenting, so you have $140,000 of debt, and now you have $44,000 or $43,000 saved up. Good for you. And I'm like, actually, it's, it's, way, it's a way better story than that. Um, I'm down to now, I think, what, in the 20,000s of debt left? If, if I were to pay off the amount that I have saved up. 
All right, so now we're gonna move on to the Transfer Tuesday portion of this. This is where I share with you guys the real numbers of how much money I was able to transfer today. Um, of course, today's not Tuesday in my timeline. It may be in yours because that's when I post these videos. But anyway, um, I was able to transfer today, the day before Tuesday, Monday. I was able to transfer, I have to caveat this, I was able to transfer $1,500 specifically to the account of my federal loan payments uh, bucket slash sinking fund in my Ally Savings Bank account, which means this month I was able to transfer a total amount of $3,000 to this government student loan uh, sinking fund that I have growing every single month which means that I am now up to a total amount of saved money for my government student loans of $44,500. And I guess there's two extra dollars in there. So $44,502 <laughs> saved up for my government student loans that continue to gain interest in the meantime until the loans, uh, the deferment ends on those loans, which is supposed to be coming uh, towards the end of this year. I think October is what I was told when the um, loan collection site called me. So the reason I need to caveat how much money I was able to transfer today, the $1,500 towards my Ally Savings Bank account, is because for some reason, I always talk so well about Ally Savings Bank, but for some reason, their site and their app is not working for me. I tried several times before pressing record to transfer this money. I have this money set aside, it's there, it's ready. But every time I tried to submit it, it said error. It said, we apologize, we are experiencing technical difficulties at this time. And then sometimes it would just log me out of the app. So I'm not gonna keep trying to do this. I'm just gonna give it a day or so, maybe wait till tomorrow, which is actually Tuesday to make this transfer. So I'm recording this in the future or in the past, not the future, whatever. Anyway, so I can't flash up the confirmation number and screenshot, but just know I do have this money actually set aside in my bank account, sitting in the checking account for this purpose. And I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So I apologize for that, but I do have the money and I am transferring it. So that brings me to a total amount transferred for the month of July of $3,350 towards the, I guess if you wanna call it the paying myself first category. Every month I try to hit this mark of being able to make this amount of money transfers for the entire month. That includes, you know, as I've talked about, my government student loan sinking fund, that also includes my Roth IRA, and that also includes the other sinking funds I have set up to help with bills and budgeting throughout the year. And this month I was able to reach that goal, which seems awesome to do, um, especially during a summer month when my side hustle income is significantly lower than it is throughout the regular school year where I work per diem with the school district. So super thankful that I'm able to do that. And in other news, this is just a total side update here about my side hustle. And that is that I'm actually working during the summer with my side hustle, though not as frequently as I am during the regular school year. I have, I think, currently three students that I'm going to be seeing twice a week. So um, that's beneficial. <laughs> um, and that means I get paid for each one of those visits, which is gonna be super helpful, not just with budgeting, but also with trying to meet my financial goals of transferring this amount of money every single month and also doing so for the purpose of becoming debt-free and financially independent for my government student loans. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another Transfer Tuesday video, checking in on these updates. Usually every week, I didn't really post anything last week, but that's okay. And I appreciate your guys' feedback, your comments, your encouragement. I think it's wonderful to see other people kind of in the same and similar situation that I'm in, rooting me on, encouraging me, and telling me that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So thank you guys so much for that. And be sure to check me out in the next video next week. Take care.